So, if you've been on the internet at any point, or especially TikTok, you will have definitely seen this first. Oliver Tree is an American singer who blew up back in 2018 with his release of Ugly Is Beautiful. Ugly Is Beautiful had a range of hits on there, the most notable being Hair, Alien Boy, and the massive Life Goes On. Life Goes On became an instant smash on TikTok, with it being used pretty much everywhere, even on some extremely cringy stuff like this. Today, it sits with 388 million streams and has another version with Trippy Red and Schema Slump God and actually has a banned live version on Stephen Colbert. Go watch that. It's pretty crazy. But where did Oliver come from? And what's up with his crazy backstory? Oliver Tree was born Oliver Tree Nickel and was born in Santa Cruz, California. To this day, he is 29 years old. Oliver made his first start into entertainment actually with scooter him now i can't actually find too much about his professional scooter career here's him doing a backflip so i kind of believe him He does say on the History Podcast that he actually started focusing on scootering in uh, middle school and that in 2009, he actually signed with a junior scooter team. So by this story, he was actually nearly a pro scooter by the time he was 16. The story goes as told by him. I come in off this 20 foot roll in full speed going in. Out of nowhere, there's this little pebble. Break my right wrist break my left wrist. This event made him doubt his longevity of scootering and around that time started making music instead. Oliver shows quite a lot of his scootering background, especially in the music video Hurt. As well as this, Oliver has a series of different documentaries on YouTube where he's doing some like crazy ass stunts. Here's him backflipping a scooter. Or here's him flipping a motocross bike with Robbie Madison. Basically, he does crazy So let's talk about his image. His image has actually changed quite a lot through the years. This was him young, and this was him in his past album, and this is him currently. So he's gone from somewhat normal to whatever this is, and then to a cowboy, and it's kind of great. After doing some research, I'm glad to say that he was a real OG when it comes to the bowl cut. I found this picture of him rocking a bowl cut as a child. Pretty gangster. Oliver has become somewhat of a meme god to back up this image. World's biggest scooter, the world's biggest vape. This is a hard end <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was what? that? Or even him just doing a video on him losing 15 pounds. This sort of carved like a crazy niche when it comes to this character. Alongside this, he has been known to fight guests. <laughs> or just straight up disrespect them. For example, when he was on Logan Paul and Logan brought out his prime drink, Oliver came with a drink of his own. Slime. <laughs> I'm on that shit. This persona of a scooter in, motorbiking, not giving a f type of guy makes him incredibly unique and gives you sort of something to draw to besides just the music even writing this video the last thing i started on was actually the music because there was just so much to talk about so that leads me into the next part the music all his music has actually changed quite a bit over the years i mean that's bound to happen when you go from this to this what is actually quite impressive is that if you go back to his first releases back in 2017 they actually do still sound like an oliver tree song that would sort of come out today which means he was onto something pretty good since then Oliver's release of alien boy and ugly is beautiful was actually a comeback oliver started his music career officially in 2010 under the name tree over at this time was dabbling in dubstep and some other genres even had a band for a while and actually opened for some big acts back then and such as tyler creator and frank ocean so his musical career wasn't always just a straight line he did dabble and sort of found his sound for a while but i think he's done it from this time he took a two-year break from 2016 to 2018 as he took a hiatus and went back to school to study music technology back in california luckily he came back and pursued his career with his whole new persona to this day he's holding some big set of for his music notably ugly is beautiful going platinum and a gold for do you feel me and with both of his albums peaking at number one and seven in the u.s to this day oliver is sitting with eight million monthly listeners and has four songs with well over 100 million streams each so i think it's safe to say he's doing something right so that is pretty much oliver tree uh, do you like him leave a comment below what you think yeah that has been the video thanks for watching until next time